Hello and welcome to my lab. My name is Terry and in this video I'm going to show you how to check files in and out of a SharePoint document library and why you would use this feature over Microsoft co-authoring. First, let me explain what checking files in and out means. When you check out a file from a SharePoint document library, you lock it for editing. So only you can edit it at that specific time. Nobody else is allowed to make changes to the file until you check it back in. This is useful when you need to make updates to a file and you can't have other people editing it at the same time. When you check it back in, you can add comments or metadata to the file to explain a summary of what you have done. There are three common ways to check out a file. First, go to SharePoint where the document is stored. Select the file and click the three dots on the top bar. Then click check out. You'll notice a little red circle with an arrow is now next to the file designated that the file is checked out. If you click the three dots on the file itself, there will be a checkout option at the bottom of the menu underneath the more section. Just unfortunately would not fit on my screen recording here. To check a file back in, click on the three dots again and then select check in. The version control window will open up and prompt you to add a comment on what you did. This part is technically optional, but is useful to complete. We'll take a quick peek at version history here just to see how it catalogs that comment you just added. This version control history is available with co-authoring as well. The next way to check out a file is through Microsoft Teams. Since the back end of Teams is SharePoint, oh! it's essentially the same process, but with a different color scheme. Select the file, click on the three dots, and then select checkout. When you're done editing the file, do the same process to check it back in. The last method to check files in and out is from the file itself. I'll use Word as an example. Here you see my chat GPT generated fan fiction on how Microsoft will take over Apple someday. To check out the file, you go to File and select Info. On the Info page, go to Manage Document and select Check Out. When you're done editing the file, you can go back to the Info pane and there'll be a big yellow box at the top for you to check the file back in. Now you might be wondering, why would you use this feature instead of Microsoft co-authoring? Microsoft co-authoring allows multiple people to work on the same file at the same time. Well, there is a few scenarios where checking out files is more suitable than co-authoring. For example, if you're working on a sensitive or confidential document, only a few people should be able to edit. These could be HR policies, departmental policies, if you're a manager, Company policies, basically a small core group of people need to make edits to it one at a time to ensure that the document serves its purpose correctly before being distributed out to the masses. The next likely scenario is if you're working on a complex document that requires careful formatting or layout and you don't want other people to accidentally mess it up, this is where this can be useful because then one person can work on it at a time and if there is any catastrophic mistakes, you can just flip the version back. Then the last major business use case is if it has a specific workflow. So if you're working on a document that needs approval or multiple approvals before other people can see it, this is kind of tied into that first point about company policy. But if you need to, to lock it for editing or lock it so other people can't edit it until a certain point, checking the file out can accomplish that goal. Then the fourth use case, which is kind of negated right now with the improvements to co-authoring, but is worth mentioning. If you're gonna be working offline, like on a flight, or have a slow in, or unreliable internet connection, like on a farm in the middle of nowhere, you can check the file out, have it cached locally on your computer, make all your edits, and then once you get to suitable internet, you can check it back in and make sure nothing gets mixed up with choppy internet. In these cases, checking files in and out gives you more control and security over your document editing. However, there are some drawbacks of using this feature such as, you need to remember to check your documents back in. If you check them out, check them back in. An admin can go and override this, but then you're gonna lose all your changes that you made while you had it checked out. You need to communicate with your team members that this process is now starting and it's to be expected. Otherwise, they could be trying to edit documents while you are and that can cause shearing. Furthermore, you may encounter conflicts or errors just because same document is in read only, but people are copying data in and out, something's gonna get overwritten. And then lastly, when you start checking files in and out, you're gonna obviously lose all the benefits of co-authoring, such as real-time collaboration, chat, comments, and version history. Well, 
the version history changes. You don't lose version history, but it's not as fluid as with co-authoring. Therefore, you should only use this feature when necessary and switch to co-authoring whenever possible. Co-authoring has been enabled by default for years and when making a new SharePoint site or Microsoft Teams team. But if you have it disabled for some reason, here's how you enable it. To enable co-authoring for your SharePoint document library, you just need to make sure that the library is using the modern experience. The library is not using any content approval or required checkouts. And you're using current office format. So anything that ends in an X, dot doc X, Excel X, PowerPoint X, all the current file formats need to be used. You can check these settings by going to the library settings page and looking at the advanced settings section. If any of these settings are not enabled, enable them and then co-authoring will start working accordingly. And that's it for this video. I hope you learned something new about SharePoint today. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. I will have more Microsoft 365 content coming in the future. Thank you for watching. And until next time, keep building.